Good evening. Um, we are talking tonight. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, but we're talking tonight about a very, very kind of intricate but kind of topic that people forget is sleep. Sleep, yes, the importance of sleep. And about maybe two months ago, I kind of went over how to help help yourself to sleep better or to fall asleep a little easier. I believe they call it like sleep latency or some regards, but primarily tonight, what I want to do, I want to share with you guys a study that's being done. It was like a six and a half years, uh, six and a half year long study they did, um, primarily tracking to see the relationship between sleep and dementia, more importantly, Alzheimer's. So if you're 50 or older, this will really pertain you, okay? So the study was done right up, up north, right up at uh, University of Seattle, and then the other part was done in Boston, okay? Now the study, like I mentioned, it was six and a half years uh, long, and they follow 321 people, okay? And the average age was 60, okay? So this is what they found they found that people, when they were able to get a healthy routine to go to sleep and actually be asleep, their chances on the follow-up, right, follow-up study, the chances of them getting dementia was 20% less. The people that were not having a healthy sleep routine, they were like at a 15 to 16% higher rate to get dementia, which is the precursor to Alzheimer. So that's what is so important for you guys to get a healthy sleep. So if you tend to kind of deal with sleep apnea, sleep latency, which is a hard time to fall asleep and why not, I encourage you, I want to encourage you guys to go and onto my YouTube channel. I have a very cool five easy steps how to fall asleep better, but it all starts in the three o'clock, four o'clock hour, all the way through your dinner, all the way into your bedtime. And trust me, what happens is that when you're looking, when the study was looking at the sleep cycle, most importantly, the REM cycle, the rapid eye movement cycle that you probably know, they noticed that most of the brain recovery or rejuvenation, some people call it, happens, oops, excuse me, happens in, only happen for 20% of the time that you're asleep, okay? So, so think about if you're sleeping for 10 hours, you only spend 20% of those two hours in REM cycle. So break it down to reality, right? Where we already know, honestly speaking, that a doll gets less than seven hours of sleep. So 20% of that, that's like a very minimal amount of time for your brain energy, your nerve, and all your brain thoughts and the healing, we call it, to take place. So it's important for you guys to apply that five-step rule that I showed you guys on my video a while ago, just in order to lower your get dementia. And last week, I believe, we went over exercise is to uh, do on your own to improve your brain uh, strength, so to speak. But most importantly, what I wanted to talk to you guys tonight is about sleeping. Uh, later on, we're going to talk about posture, like your, your sleeping pattern and how it affects your joints and your muscles. Uh, because I know how fancy things are getting with sleep numbers, mattresses, and his side her side and warm and up and down with all the remotes and whatnot. But we're going to study, um, or I'm going to share with you guys biomechanically from the physical therapy aspect. If you happen to have old injuries um, or just old blood habits that you just have, uh, how it's affecting your body in the morning, especially if you take like one or two hours to get going for your day. But bringing us back to today, what I want to make sure is that you guys really spend some good REM time 
during the REM cycle during your sleep. So uh, if you guys get any post the link to those five step exercises, which like I said, it starts around three or four by saying to uh, stop taking caffeinated drinks and whatnot. Uh, let me know and I'll share it with you guys. If not, just go to my YouTube channel, J. Carlos Fit Lab, and you can look for it right there. Okay, but I wanted to share that with you guys because it is very important after the age of 50 to have a mental clarity so you can actually clear your mind, can move mountains. So if your mind is clear, your body will follow. Okay, so take tonight, listen to this again one more time, rewind it and play it again, and kind of think how much time you actually sleep six hours, seven hours, you know, and just think I need 20 percent of that. If you feel like your mind is foggy, you're forgetful, uh, you kind of more often than you want, you go on a days or you have a hard time recalling things. It's not so much a feature, but it's mentally re mental recall. Just really look at your REM cycle. That's, that's where the magic happens. Okay. All right. Keeping it short tonight we're gonna meet again tomorrow and if you guys comment below i promise you guys i'll put on the screen the diagram of the different sleep positions based on how you tend to sleep especially if you're one of those people that sleep all over and we can go over the biomechanical um this disadvantage about sleeping on your side on your stomach on your shoulder with your arm underneath your arms extended we'll go all that okay all right short and sweet go to